introduction to subtraction hello friends i am the parrot welcome to this topic come on let's see what you will learn in this lesson how does the number of any object decrease by subtraction and how to do subtraction of one digit numbers today chotu had gone to the market with his mother he bought four laddus for himself from the market mummy i am very hungry eat one laddu out of the four laddus you bought from the market okay mummy so how many laddus are left for pinky there are three laddus left for pinky but mummy i am still very hungry can i have one more laddu yes dear now how many laddus are left for pinky there are two laddus left for pinky very good chotu come on now eat remaining laddus with pinky so children first chotu had four laddus with him then he ate one so there were three left but then out of the three laddus he ate one more laddu so then there were just two more laddus left with him in this way the number of laddus kept decreasing on reaching home chotu goes to the garden to play with pinky he sees some pigeons over there see pinky those five pigeons are sitting on the clothes that have been put out for drying they will spoil the clothes let's fly them away okay chotu chotu and pinky then waves their hands towards the pigeons and two pigeons flew away look pinky two pigeons flew away how many pigeons are left now out of five pigeons two pigeons flew away so there are three pigeons left come on let's fly the rest of the pigeons away chotu and pinky once again waved their hands towards the pigeons and this time all the pigeons flew away yeah out of the three pigeons all three flew away so now zero pigeons are left that is not even a single pigeon is left come on let's play now so children you saw how the number of pigeons kept on decreasing in this way if we take away some objects from a group of objects then the number of that object decreases so do you know what actually this method is called this method is called subtraction in this process we generally subtract a smaller number from the bigger number that's all for today in this video we learned how does the number of objects decrease by subtraction in the next video we will see some more interesting examples of subtraction till then bye friends interesting examples of subtraction part 1 so kids in the previous video you learned how does the number of objects decrease by subtraction in this video we will see some interesting examples of subtraction of one digit numbers choto summer vacation is going on it is day time now and he feels like drinking lemonade mummy i feel like drinking lemonade will you please make it for me yes my son go get some lemons from the fridge okay mummy i'll get it just now then chotu goes to get some lemons from the fridge oh i did not ask mummy how many lemons are required no problem i will take all the lemons then chotu takes all the lemons and goes back to his mother take this mummy how many lemons do you need to make one glass lemonade 
Oh, Chotu, you got six lemons. I just need one lemon. Thank you. Now, please keep the remaining lemons back inside the fridge. So, children, can you tell me that how many lemons did Chotu keep back in the fridge? Come on, let's see. If out of the six lemons, Chotu's mother took one lemon, so now there are five lemons left. So, friends, did you see how after reducing, that is subtracting one lemon from six lemons, there were five lemons left? It is evening time and Chotu and Pinky are playing with five of their friends in the park. So, children, can you tell me how many children are playing in total? Yes, five and two, that means seven children. Chotu and Pinky's mother comes to take them home. Chotu and Pinky, come let's go home quickly. Uncle has come to meet you. Oh, okay. Let's go, mummy. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. Pinky and Chotu go back home with their mother. Now, can you tell me how many children are left in the park? Come on, let's see. Out of seven children, two children went away. So, there are five children left. You had the same answer, right? Very good. That is all for today. In this video, we learned how to subtract one number from another number. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples. Till then, bye friends. Interesting examples of subtraction part 2. So children, in the previous video you learned how to subtract one number from another number. In this video we will see some interesting examples of subtraction of one digit numbers. Chotu, Pinky and their friends have decided to donate their old books. Chotu and Pinky are taking out their old books. Pinky, how many old books do you have? Chotu, I have five old books and I don't need them anymore. I will give all of them away. How many books do you have? I have only two books with me and I don't read them anymore. You have more books than me. Yes, Chotu, but it's okay. You give as many books as you have. That's okay, Pinky, but how many more books do you have than me? I have five books with me and you have two books. So, I have seven more books than you. No, Pinky. You have added five and two. Instead, you had to tell me how much more is five than two. Chotu, I didn't understand. That's okay, Pinky. Let me explain it to you. You have five books and I have two. So, if we subtract two from five, then there will be three left. This means you have three more books than me. Did you understand? Yes. Now let's quickly go and donate these books. So children, can you also find the difference between two numbers in this way? Come on, let's see. Neha has six toys and Sonu has four toys. Now can you all tell me who has more toys? Yes, Neha has more toys. But how many more? To find this out, we will have to subtract the number of toys Sonu has from the number of toys Neha has. So on subtracting 4 from 6, we are left with 2. Neha has 2 more toys than Sonu. Come on, let us see another similar example. The fat monkey has 8 bananas and the thin monkey has 3 bananas. So who has more bananas? Yes. The fat monkey has more bananas. And how many more? To find this out, we will have to subtract the number of bananas that thin monkey has from the number of bananas fat monkey has. So on subtracting 3 from 8, we are left with 5. So the fat monkey has 5 more bananas than the thin monkey. Understood. 
So that was all for today. In these videos we learned how to subtract one number from another number. Bye friends.